This is Jamie Lewis. We're doing this live. If anyone out there knows what we should name our show, let us know. We just, I don't know, spontaneously started a show. But we're happy to have you with us. And plenty of exciting things will happen during the duration of this program. This show is going to kick you in the asshole. All right, you're going to need intravenous preparation H. It's going down. Next, I would like to uh, introduce you to Ronnie Bobbins. If Ronald Reagan and Tony Robbins were to have a baby, this is what would happen. Ronnie Bobbins. If Donald Trump and Rosie O'Donnell had a baby, this is Donald O'Donnell. If Hillary Clinton and Lindsay Lohan had a baby, this is Hillary Lohan. All right? So now I'd like to announce our next guest. This is Commission Girl. Say hello, Commission Girl, and come on in. What's up? What's up? How are you? Good. How are you doing? A little busy today, but doing pretty well. Thank you. Yeah? yeah. All right. So tell us about the, the robberies. Oh, no. No robberies today. It's time for Spin the Wheel! Here we go. Where's the spookiest place you've ever been? I heard you do like ghost hunting and weird stuff like that. Dudley Town, I guess. Is that scary? Not really. I've been to Ed Warren's gravestone. I did a seance. Yeah, that shit is creepy as fuck. So uh, what's up with all the drinks on the desk tonight? I don't know. Sorry about that. Tell us about your day. Um, well, I'm looking in the market for some new sparkly, <clears throat> some new sparkles for my makeup. Tell us a funny ass story, like about gynecologist or something. <laughs> Not fun. Tell us a story about the last time you bought produce. Whew, uh, I bought some giant peaches. <laughs> <laughs> what did that have to do with anything? All right, so you bought a bunch of fucking peaches, onions and tomatoes. Do you have some, a, a certain meal in mind that was guiding your, your shopping experience through the produce section? I don't really, I don't really, uh, oh my gosh, are you okay? Jeez, hurt yourself? Oh no. Isn't that right, Mr. Puppy Pants? <laughs> All right, I don't know. I think I'm going to go. You know how hard it is to, to do this show? You can't just sit there and take it like a loser. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is Matt. Hey, you want to go to a baby shower? Yeah, why the fuck not? All right, let's do this. All right. I'm going to pick up some nice gifts for the baby. Some G.I. Joes and some cigarettes and <laughs> some whiskey. Matt, did we go straight or right? I don't fucking know. Hey, you do. No. I don't care. Matt, did we go right or did no. we go straight? No. No. Come on, you guys. <laughs> I don't want to know how we got here. Hey, do you got 
rocking chairs? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a picture. Can I have that? <laughs> oh, that's oh, so cute. So you got a onesie. I'm gonna cross it off on the video. <laughs> Bingo. Opposite of a sausage fest. There it is, it's a baby in there. Woo! That was fun. Ah. That's right. So, you think you're gonna host the show for me? I gotta I gotta go. I got bad diarrhea. Yeah, I guess so. I gotta suit somewhere. Alright, cool. I'll see you guys later. I really Wait, do one more question. Oh. No, I really I I gotta You can't do one more question? No, I'll see you guys later, man. Well, thanks, it? dude. Okay, so you get caught. You've done wrong. You do your time. So where do you go from here? Well, that's a great question for our next guest, Mr. Andy Brockholz, convicted internet scammer and extortionist. He's explained himself as being reformed, turned over a new leaf, and looking to start over. Andy, welcome to the show, and welcome to Pislo, the green car. It's been a long time. Why, thank you. Good to be here. And Pislo is excited as well. The secret's out. Everybody knows. You did wrong. The internet would look a lot different if you just didn't exist. No annoying exit pop-ups, no malware, no countdowns to nothing on websites. Not as many horse porn sites. Not many scam sites, which everyone hates. I've come a long way. I, I was a bit arrogant before all this happened and I was exposed. I would put my nose where it didn't belong and I also had a very bad bout of genital herpes. I was not only scamming the scammers but found myself in a pickle from playing leapfrog with my competitors. I would try to steal the internet traffic, in other words, I had brown nose the stinker. That sounds terrible, but tell us about the infamous Exit Profits. Well, Exit Profits was my software that many scammers used on their websites and spam traps. I would sell it mainly using the webinar presentation. It was not live. And you actually use the scam software with this webinar as well, I hear? Yes. I saw the new movie Bad Karma, which everybody knows is the feature film that loosely follows your life. A life of a thief. I have to say, it was incredible. Now everyone wants to know, have you seen it? And if so, tell us what you think. No, I absolutely hated it. Aside from the fact that it portrays me as a very vicious criminal, of course, I, you know, I actually thought I was doing something good. My intentions were benevolent. But you sold 10,000 units, so a potential 10,000 scammers using these scripts. Look, I, I would just concentrate on what I was doing and working with the customers was time consuming. I also did not think my customers would do so much damage. Although I was selling software to marketers, I actually thought of myself as the goofy fat uncle. But I can see why some people find it hard to believe you're reformed when you claim you feel you did nothing wrong. What in your words do you feel you did? And it was reported that you broadcasted a dirty Look, video. I have your explained well. ad nauseum that at the time I did not think about what my customers were doing with the software. Yes, I made a mistake with Pislo, but now we are doing fine. That's not what it looked like in the House of Lords video. Let's take a look. Order! The United Kingdom versus Andy Brocklewurst. Chamber commencing. Mr. Brocklehurst, have you retained counsel? Yes, sir. I have carefully chosen to represent myself for these allegations. You engaged in the selling of software that internet scammers from all over the world would use to obtain ill-gotten profits. Yes, sir. I understand the consequences of my actions. Perhaps I should not have distributed all of the bots. I should have been careful. I declare you guilty, sir. No, sir. I tried my best. I sentence you to 10 years in prison. You will be in prison, Mr. Andy Brocklehurst. You are a dirty scammer, you fat scamming pile of shit. You go ahead, build and take him away. You no, are guilty of everything. You are the most guilty fat man this court has ever seen. Look, I have apologized profusely. Okay, we need to go to a quick commercial break, but we will be right back with Andy Brocklehurst. Okay, we're back with Andy Brocklehurst, who had a quick spat of diarrhea while we were gone. But now that we're back, I thought I would bring in two specialists 
the internet marketing detective, Fucklehurst, and internet entertainer, Jamie Lewis. Gentlemen, it's great to have you on. What do you think of that? Look, Andy, it's one thing to offer a legitimate service where a customer is demanding something, a solution, and no one gets hurt. But see, Andy did not think about the customers that were hurt from the people he sold to. In effect, Andy was a business-to-business -business service where he would supply the worst of the worst with the tools to make more profit off of unsuspecting victims. No, that's not true at all. Bollocks. Fuck you, scammer. Okay, well, then how are you reformed, Andy? You know, I mean, what exactly does reformed mean to someone who really does not think he did anything wrong? You were the arms dealer to internet scammers, you. you human hippopotamus. Jamie, what do you think? What do I think? Dude was gangster. Go on your computer, it's like, pop up, pop up, pop up. It's like, what the heck? Crazy fuck. That's not the question, okay? Oh my god, ah. Andy, are you alright? Ah. Man, somebody call oh, the police. Snap. Dial 911. Andy was yeah. broadcasting remote from his home. Yeah, he's I hope somebody can get out there to him. It's time! You know what? What's going on here? Where's my really? money? Really? You ain't gonna be stepping in here like that. I'm a collector. That motherfucker ain't gonna get no money. All right? You understand? All right. Here's the deal. How about you, you bring have, him down here so I can drop until my Wednesday. dick and balls on his forehead? All right? I'll drop my dick and balls on your boss's forehead, and All then right. I will. Is that the key. official statement? I will. You want me to tell him that? I will. On his. Okay. Face. Oh, okay. Your words, right? Yes. Tell him. Fine. Please I'm gonna go let tell him that. I'm face. gonna tell him he. You want to piss on his face, and yes. that'll be it. You are the man. You. You, you are a great messenger. It's time for spin the wheel. Write and read. All right, it's time to write and read. Why don't you take a seat? All right. There you are, you can read for everyone. We stay fly, no lie, like showbiz, hips and thighs. Oh my, stay focused. Let's right. give her a round of applause. <laughs> Come in. Uh, hi. Uh, yeah, so I gave Frankie the message and uh, he fired me. So, um, you hiring? Yeah, man. Yeah? Over there, partner. Ah, thanks a lot. Yeah, man. Sit down. And All right. Go. You co-host the show with me. All right. All right. I'll be so, like uh, Andy Richter. Who is uh, Andy Richter? Uh, Conan O'Brien's little sidekick, the chubby little guy. I hate that guy. I'll just be you, dog. All right, so what's up, you dog? How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. I got, I got a new job. Yeah. Pays really good. No. No? No. I went to Frankie uh, after I was here. He got flipping pissed. I told him about the cup and everything. I said, yeah, I flipped the cup. I said a whole bunch of shit. Started, like, shoving shit up his butt and screaming and throwing things against the wall. And it was like, God damn, you fired, and fucking fired all the interns in the office, and was like, yay, you know? So, yeah, here I too, am. You're too soft. You're too soft. Uh, it's not that. It's like he said I was, it was good enough, but I, I should have stuck around longer, you know? I'm not a fucking messenger, is what he said. I don't like getting scammed. You know what I'm saying? That coaching was bullshit. I wanted to learn how to do some motherfucking Fair enough. eBay. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I ain't paying no $10,000 for no eBay lesson. Half that shit you can get on YouTube anyway. Yeah, he did me dirty. Yeah. It was dirty. He, uh, 
sold you an empty promise. That was, that was fucking yeah. filthy. Yeah. That well, was atrocious. It is what it is, right? So, you have a girlfriend? Yeah. Can you bring her down? Yeah. What do you think of uh, Woodwinds? Uh, I'll take it or leave it. Like the bagpipes? Yeah. You like them played at funerals? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? Who doesn't? Are you Irish? Yeah. Do you like female saxophonists serenading you and your girlfriend while you eat <laughs> yeah. at a Chinese restaurant? Yeah, why? What'd you hear? You heard, you heard the story, didn't you? You heard the story? No. We once paid a guy to follow us with a saxophone and play, uh, what was that song? George oh, Michaels. It was a George Michaels song. I know exactly what song you're talking about, Yeah, brother. you do? Yeah. Yeah, which one? I'm never gonna dance again. Guilty feet have no rhythm. I'm in another change of friend. The way I dance with you. You want a beer? Yeah, you got one? Yeah. Here you go, <laughs> bud. Nice. All right. This is the coolest show. Hey, you want another beer? Yeah. All right, here you go. You can get two beers. Nice. Right. Fuck me. Quite a right. host. <laughs>